Now, a lot of GM success and positive press in recent months comes from the buzz around electric vehicles. They're uh, meant to be the wave of the future. But as our business editor Rob Maloney reports, some in the industry are concerned tonight that putting all the eggs in the electric basket could spell some trouble for auto workers. Rod? Well, Devin, you know that General Motors has decided they want to be all electric and light-duty light vehicles by 2035, carbon neutral by 2040. Uh, lofty goals, to say the least, but we get a little bit more grounded notion of how all of this electric world is going to look today from this new Stellantis CEO who came to town for the first time. Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares came to town looking to introduce himself and to see his local Detroit plants. He also spent some time today discussing the company's future. First up, the Chrysler brand, which only has a couple of vehicles under its banner, and it is likely to survive. Uh, certainly the reference point is uh, we recognize that Chrysler is one of the historical brands of Stellantis, one of the three historical brands of Stellantis, and therefore our uh, mindset is to try to project ourselves in the future as a matter of respect. Chrysler's future is likely electric and autonomous, he says. It's already testing those technologies with Waymo, part of Google. Now, Tavares, who has already ended combustion engine technology at Peugeot, says the company is aggressively pursuing electric vehicles, but also believes they have to be very careful because electrification adds significant costs. And at the end of the day, we know that our mission is to make sure that we offer our citizens freedom of mobility, which is safe, clean, and affordable. Another note of electric vehicle caution came today from United Auto Workers President Rory Gamble, speaking at the Automotive Press Association with WWJ's Jeff Gilbert. He said he's seen hot new technology come and go, and he's a bit skeptical and concerned for his membership. These earlier attempts at new technology that failed, um, because at the end of the day, when these things don't work, you know, our members suffer. And what he was saying there at the Automotive Press Association was that he's not skeptical necessarily of the electric car or truck, but he says he wants to make sure that it succeeds because it means jobs to his membership. So he's been talking to the Biden administration, looking for some assurances that the goals that they have set for electric vehicles will be in line with his membership. Reporting live in Southfield, Rod Maloney, Local 4.